Hello, hello! Welcome to the Love Sock Wool channel. I'm Sarah. Um, I'm known as Love Sock Wool on Instagram and Ravelry, although I'm mostly on Instagram. So if you want, come and give me a follow there and you can see what crazy shenanigans of knitting and crochet and making that I've been up to lately. So today is July. No, it is not July. It is still June. <laughs> June 28th, June 29th. Not really sure. Yeah, it's June 29th. And I thought it would be wonderful to do another video and I'll show you what I've been working on for Summer Sock Camp. So um, as many of you may know, Summer Sock Camp is a no long hosted by uh, Kay, the crazy sock lady. It's super chill. Um, it, there's a hashtag on Instagram. I think it's just Summer Sock Camp 2023. So if you click on that hashtag, you'll see so many photos of socks that people are making. Um, I believe there's also a Ravelry group as well, though I have not checked that out yet. I just mainly follow people on Instagram that love to knit socks as much as I do. <laughs> so um, I will show you what I've been working on. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I could show you just all of the baskets and bags I brought down. Sorry for my thumb covering up the camera there. Um, I will show you what I've been working on. I've really, I've started so, oh, there's, there's my cat. <laughs> She's gonna make an appearance here. That's so funny. She was hiding under the blanket. I didn't even see her under there. I literally have only finished one full pair, but I have finished some second socks that were on the needles before Summer Sock Camp started, which I can't remember what date Summer Sock Camp started, but I think it was the last, it was Memorial Day weekend. I think that's when it officially started. So I finished my Mama Jess knits in the speckled rainbow colorway. And these were so fun to knit. I'm wondering, I have a big basket in here, which I will show you in a moment, um, which has all my yarn in it of everything that I want to cast on for Summer Sock Camp, but I probably will not get to all of it. But this is how much I have left over. And I'm wondering if I can eke out a shorty sock, pair sock. <laughs> and I think in here I've got, let me see. Yeah, I've got, this is also Mama Just Nets. It's a mini that I could, if I did cuffs and toes, I might be able to make a shorty pair, which would be so fun. So I'm gonna try that. So this is my first official pair that I have finished. And then just this week, I finished two more pairs of socks that have been on the go for literally, I think just about two years, which is ridiculous. But I finished these. This is Beachy Breeze Fibers. Um, and I believe I got this yarn. Oh, I know I got this yarn from Kay's, um, the Crazy Sock Lady, her web shop when she had her um, shop. And it's so pretty. And I'm not sure what this pink is, but I did a pop of color at the top. And oh, did I say the colorway is Autumn Berries? Very lovely. It just took me a while to knit them because I knit them on size zero needles. And whenever I do that, it just takes me forever. It takes me two years to knit them. This pair is pineapple yarns. And again, I know I started these in 2021, maybe even 2020. These may have been on the go for three years. I'm not sure, but it's pineapple yarns in the lush paradise colorway. And pineapple yarns is no longer selling yarn. Marina, I miss you so much. I'm really sad that she's not, um, she doesn't have her shop anymore. If you go to Pineapple Yarns, it just says that they're closed, so. And I still have a fair bit of her yarn in my stash, so I can still enjoy it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so happy I got these two pairs finished. They had been on the go for quite some time. And let's see, I have more. I'm really on a, a pretty, pretty exciting Mama Jess knits kick right now. So I have a couple more on the go. This pair, I can't remember if I showed it last time. 
I recorded, which was, was it a couple weeks ago? This is, this is amazing, historic that I'm recording again so soon, because <laughs> I normally have difficulty finding the time, but I think with it being summer, there's less running around. Although not this week, this week is actually quite nuts. I am squeezing in a podcast right now before I have to go pick up Juliet from her camp. She's at Harry Potter camp. And then, um, and then I have an appointment I have to run to this afternoon as well. So I don't know how this is happening, but it's happening. This is Mama Jess Knits and it is Valentine's. I think it's just called Valentine's. And I, I got it back in um, February, I believe. Mary Margaret is coming to say hello. I guess she likes to hang out. We are, we are recording live from Priscilla's bedroom, so I guess... She likes to hang out in here the most. This is by far probably the coolest room in the house because it's in the basement. That's probably why she likes to come down here in the summertime. Okay, so Valentine's, I love it. I'm also thinking when I'm done with these, which I'm hoping to finish this evening if I can, because I only have a little bit more of the foot to knit. I could probably eke a shorty sock out of the leftovers of this as well. And then it came with a cute little pink mini. Okay, so I hope I can get this pair finished today, possibly maybe tomorrow. So I have to work tomorrow, but I'm probably gonna take it with me. If I don't finish it tonight, I'll take it with me to work tomorrow. Sometimes I can sneak in a few rows at work if I'm waiting on patients and we're kind of slow. Um, not always, but tomorrow I know I think we only have 10 cases tomorrow. So I might be able to sneak in a few rows tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so this is my next Mama Jess Knits sock I have on the go. And it is called Purple Roses. And I am just really, really enjoying this colorway. And the reason why I got it, because when I got married 23 years ago, my wedding bouquet was purple roses. Um, although I, I, it was, they were called lavender roses, but they were purple. In fact, I still have my wedding bouquet. It's all dried out. I should have tried to bring it downstairs, but it's very fragile. I'll have to see if I can take a, I'll try to take a picture of it with this yarn next to it so you can see my, my dried up purple roses wedding bouquet. So anyway, this is a very special, very special colorway. Um, and then I put in a mini that is also Mama Jess for the heel flap. And I think this is wine o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. But it was a mini that came with another Mama Jess knits colorway, which I think I have right here. And it's um, she had this colorway last autumn, and it's called Changing of the Leaves. So it came with it came with the orange that I just showed you a little while ago, and the this one. But it go, I feel like it goes with this one really well too. So hopefully I can get lots of use out of it. And then you have to see this little stitch marker. It's um, Charmed and Dangerous. And again, look at this. It's got a little snail on it. It's so cute. <laughs> and a little flower. So loving my Mama Just Knits very much. Okay. In here, all of these are in one of my Mountain State Stitches project bags that I love so much. It makes me very happy. All right, what else have I been working on? I feel like I've really been working on those the most, but I have some other ones. Oh, okay. I did finish the first sock of Moon Glow. Yarn Co. Is that, is she called Moon Glow? Yeah, Moon Glow Yarn Co. And it's Paradise Sock Set. This is one of her summer colorways. I think this is her main summer colorway for, for this year. It's so, so pretty. Let me see if I can. This is the main color. And then these are all the, the minis. And I have one sock finished. And I, um, it's inspired by um, Crazy Sock Lady, who has the idea for these. I believe she calls them 
does she call them happy scrappy socks or happy stripey scrappy socks I can't remember what she calls them but that's what I did and I I did uh, 28 rounds of two by two ribbing for the cuff and then each stripe is 10 rows and then when I got to the back to the brown I did 10 rows of brown before starting the heel flap and yeah and then when I after I finished the gusset I knit 25 rounds and then each one of the stripes I did five rows and then did the toe so that was fun to do and it, it once you get to the stripes on the foot it just flies and I do have sock number two going I just haven't started the stripes so I need to try to do that soonish I feel like I was going to say something about this. Oh, okay. So for the wider stripes, when I add in the new color, I, I've been doing the, um, I think it's called the Weave and Steven method. It's just like you weave in your ends as you're knitting the new color, uh, which I don't mind doing when the stripes are wider, but I find that when I get to the skinnier stripes, it drives me crazy. Like it, I can't stand it. So I decided for the the narrower stripes, I just wove in my ends like a normal person when I finished the sock. I didn't do uh, Weave and Steven. And it also went much faster. For some reason, when I do the Weave In as I go, it slows me down and I, I get really annoyed. <laughs> but, but also, it was so nice not to have to weave in all the ends on the leg as well. So I guess it just depends on what my mood is. So anyway, I'm excited that I at least got the first one done and maybe this weekend I can get the stripes of the leg finished. Although I do have, okay, now let me show you my basket. Okay, so in here, in this large basket, I have, there's my, my keychain, summer sock camp from last year. So this is all yarn in here that is some of it's wound up some of it's not but I just put yarn in here that I'm like oh I think I want to knit that for summer sock camp I'll throw it in here and okay this is another another moon glow <laughs> I did finish this one I don't think I had finished the first sock um last time I recorded but I did finish this one and I do have the second one going here it is I did finish the stripes and I, I'm just working on the um, cream color again but these were knit on zero so they just take me longer and I didn't bother to do stripes on the leg I just decided to have it be a plain white leg and then for this one the, the second sock I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the darker green for the heel on the second sock and then I'll do the lighter green for the cuff and then I use up more yarn that way. And I could probably make another pair when I'm finished, honestly. Okay, so I have, where did I put it? Okay, so I've got the Sparkle Pop sock set, which is actually, I'm <laughs> doing something different. So it, the Sparkle Pop sock set ha comes with, I think it's called, is it called Cotton Bree Cottonwood Breeze or something like that? And then these are all the, um, Sparkle Pop minis, but I also got the Firecracker sock set, which comes with this gorgeous, like, navy blue, or I think she calls it Sapphire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for something else and put the minis with Sapphire, because I just think that looks really stunning. So, but I haven't started it yet. I should start it this weekend, because it's gonna be 4th of July next week, and I'm gonna want to have it on the needles, but... We'll see what I get to. Okay, so it's all wound up and ready to go in here. This is actually the other half of this yarn because I had wound them into to two balls. Um, but it's the same color, main color that is with the Sparkle Pop sock set. So I'm just gonna use this up and because I wanna use up, I don't wanna wind up another of the same color if I already have it and I'm probably not even gonna need any of this one <laughs> in order to finish this sock. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so 
see what else do I have in here? I really wanted that changing of the leaves. My other mama just sock yarn. Oh, I did finish Secret Keeper by Ruby and Roses. I really, really love this colorway so much. It's just, I mean, look at the way it like kind of flashed. I love that. This is one of uh, Addie's Harry Potter colorways. And I have the other, <laughs> the rest of the yarn ready to go in a Harry Potter yarn cozy. I just haven't cast it on yet. I need to do that, but I have it on. I'm still working away on my Star Wars yarn. Hold on, let me get untangled. So this is, I think I showed this last time. This is You're My Only Hope. It's little Princess Leia hanging out on there. I started this months ago <laughs> and it's just taken me a while to finish, but I could probably finish this this weekend if I don't cast on anything else, but I probably will. So this probably won't get finished, but we'll see. All right, is there anything else in my basket that I need to show you? It's, it's just lots of random yarn in here that I really want to cast on. I don't know if I'll get to all of this. Maybe it'll just be stuff I get to throughout the rest of the year. <clears throat> okay, I did start a new sock. Is it this is in here? Okay, so of course I was inspired by Crazy Sock Lady because she was knitting those beautiful pearl talk socks um, with minis. Um, she was knitting it this way. <laughs> And she was using the colorway Bordeaux Speckle by Pearl Talk with uh, the six mini skeins called Love is Blind. So I went to Pearl Talk website and they were all sold out of the Bordeaux Speckle. I think they still have the minis though, the Love is Blind minis, but they had another mini skein set um, called Rose Colored Glasses. I think, I think that's what these are called. Did I save the, um, I think I saved the label, but it's upstairs. So I got the minis and I got pepper speckle, which I just love saying pepper speckle. <laughs> so I have started my Pearl Talk sock with the happy, scrappy, stripy sock method. <laughs> okay, so I did it the same exact way that I knit the moon glow sock 10 rows for the stripes and it's quite a beautiful fade like between here and here I almost can't tell where they change but it fades really pretty into the deep kind of wine color so I just finished the gusset this morning and I'm down the foot so I really love this and the, this base is an inter interesting sock base it's I did of course I did not bring the the label down but it's it's a merino tencel nylon base so it just it's just lovely i i'm really enjoying knitting with this base it's very soft it just feels really nice so i'm excited to be working with it <laughs> and this is in one of my brand newly acquired Mountain State Stitches. I love leopard print, so I'm so happy she had, she made these because it's perfect. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Other socks have started. Okay. I did get going with my little lion head granny square blanket. This is, of course, the first sock. I haven't picked this one up in a while, so I need to get back to this one. It's so, so pretty. Just... I love a light colored yarn with delicate speckles. It's just beautiful. Okay. Now let's see, what can I show you next? Ooh, progress on Yarnable. I think I had shown last time that I was trying to knit two, like two, a, not two at a time, but in tandem. So I cast on both socks of the June Yarnable colorway and this is, pollen party. 
I am halfway done with both of them. Both gussets are finished. I just need to knit the foots. And my goal was to get these done by the end of June, but I don't think it's gonna happen because isn't tomorrow the last day of June? There's 30 days in June, right? Don't think it's gonna happen. But maybe I can get them done before the next installment of Yarnable comes for July, which I I don't know if it's shipped yet because that I get that notification through my work email and I only check that email when I'm at work so I don't know if it's shipped yet but I do love this colorway it's so beautiful the the speckles are just the most intricate delicate speckles I've ever seen I love it so we'll see we'll see if I get these done <laughs> anytime soon I honestly I always think oh if I get both socks on the go like get the and knit them in tandem I'll get the pair done faster but to be honest I think I, I knit them slower and I don't know why because they they're not on the same needle but I don't know I just think I knit faster when I just knit socks one at a time I don't know why. I, I it's it's like too overwhelming to me or something. It, it this makes no sense, but it is just what happens. I've noticed this <laughs> about myself. Okay, I showed that. Showed that. Okay, what's in here? Okay, let's transition <laughs> to scrappy projects. I think I showed this one last time. I did start a jelly roll blanket by Kay of the Bakery Bears podcast. Um, I'm still on the same yarns, <laughs> but but they're maybe a little bit longer than when I showed you last. Um, so I started off with Ruby and Roses. This is Journal, that's the colorway. And then I went into Mama Jess Knits. This is the Summersock Camp colorway from last year. And I'm almost done, like I only have this much left. So I'm going to completely finish up all of this yarn, even though it's quite a long stripe there. It's amazing how far these, this size little balls of yarn will get you when you're knitting at it like a, like you're only <laughs> knitting this much. So, And then I'm still working on uh, Ruby and Rose's uh, Hagrid's Umbrella. And again... I mean, this is all I have left, but this is going to take forever. It takes forever to knit it up. So honestly, I haven't picked it up in a while, but I would like to because I really do like this a lot. So I thought I would show you my progress on that. And when I'm done with those two yarns, these are little leftovers from my Ruby and Roses Advent calendar which I am knitting the anthology throw. Again, I forgot to bring that down, shoot. It's upstairs in Juliet's closet. <laughs> Half of Juliet's closet is just projects that are in hibernation right now. I'm planning to pick that project back up in August. I'm, gonna, I'm focusing on, I've been focusing on socks for June and I will for July. And then in August, I wanna pick up the anthology. Uh, what is, is it the anthology wrap, the anthology throw? I can't remember, but it's, it's by Helen Stewart, Curious Handmade. And I'm, I'm using my Ruby and Roses Advent for that project. Um, and these were the colors that I used at, in the beginning. So I didn't use up all of the yarn before you had to change colors. So I still have little balls left over. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I started my patriotic moon glow. I guess it's sparkle pop. I guess... That's the, the colorway collection, but I started um, my blanket. And what I'm doing is basically this is just a going to be a big grandma's favorite dishcloth, but it's a blanket. And I got the idea from someone I follow on Instagram and her handle is MN Wild Fan, so Minnesota Wild Fan. And she's always knitting gorgeous moon glow yarn projects and she knit a wa the watermelon colorway grouping that um, Whitney came out with last year and she did this. So what she does is she'll take each color 
and wind it into two equal balls. And for the increase portion of the blanket, you, you use one ball. And then once you get, use up all the colors, the first half of the balls of all the colors, then with the second half, you just decrease. And then that way you use up all your yarn. And it's just fun because you're doing something different. I was trying to knit just like back and forth, like a garter blanket um, that a lot of people are doing, kind of like the cozy comfort throw. Um, but I just find that I need to do something a little bit different if I'm just going back and forth and the stitch count is always the same. I get really bored. <laughs> but anyway, this hopefully will keep me a little more interested. And I'm doing four stitches on each edge before I do the increase. And you just increase one stitch after my four stitch garter edge on each row. So it's the same, you're doing the same thing on every row. And then when I reach the halfway point, um, instead of increasing, I'll just do a, like knit two together to decrease back down to the other point. So yes, and I've got all my yarn. I made myself a project bag out of um, two Quilt As You Go quilt blocks that I've had, because I was making a quilt, I was doing like a camp themed, summer themed, camper themed quilt that I just, only ended up making three quilt blocks so I just decided to make a project bag out of them so that was really fun I had not made myself a bag in maybe four years so I was worried I would forget how to do it but it came right back it's just like riding a bike okay let me get all the colors out so I can show you these they are so beautiful let me do this in the right order okay so I've done the dark blue, then kind of like a medium cadet blue, and then light blue. Oops, let me see if I can do this without dropping it. Light blue, and then kind of a cream, and then pink, and then red. I think that's the order I'm going to do it in. This blanket probably will outgrow this bag. I don't know. We'll see. But right now it houses all the yarn very nicely. And I, well, wait a minute. I feel like I'm missing yarn. What is going on? Oh, I know because, okay, so in my summer talk camp right here, I have, this is the other half. So this will be for when I get to the decrease portion. So when I get ready for the next color, I wind them into two balls and I put the second half in here while I'm knitting the first half of the blanket. I'm going to try to work on it some this weekend working on it for 4th of July. Okay. Get organized here. All right. Okay, so other scrappy projects. I have really been enjoying, I always enjoy working on my Cozy Memories style blankets. Um, I picked up one of my older ones. This one is a, like, are there bigger squares? And each square is a 70 stitch square. I started this years and years ago and I was, <laughs> the idea was that I was gonna use all Harry Potter inspired sock yarns. So it was gonna be like a Harry Potter cozy memories blanket. And I did stick with that rubric <laughs> quite faithfully. And then finally I was like, you know, I just wanna put whatever yarn in here that I wanna put in. So it's morphed into just a regular cozy memories blanket so I've got another square going this is this actually closes up this row and this is a yarnable it's the shenanigans colorway I believe from March last year so 2022 um I, do, I love this size square because it uses up more yarn although I'm still gonna have so much left over I'm trying to come up with an idea for a scrappy crochet blanket that uses up every last bit. Like, so pr probably what I would like to do is once I put this square on my 70 stitch Cozy Memories blanket, I'm gonna pull out my 50 stitch Cozy Memories blanket, get a square on this one. I guarantee you, I will still have a ton left over 
and I'm going to be annoyed because I want it to be used up. So then I'm left with crochet. So <laughs> I'm thinking about starting a scrappy crochet project for the express purpose of double stranding whatever is left over and just blitzing it out on the crochet blanket. So I didn't bring it down with me, but I, sh and I showed it a couple episodes ago. I started a crochet blanket that it's, uh, it's gonna be a rectangle. It's just back and forth and it looks like ribbing, but it's crochet. And all you're doing is half double crochet into the back loop of each stitch down the row. I could go get it, but I'd have to pause the video. And I'm not using iMovie, I'm just straight up recording. So I don't wanna have to do any editing. So if I remember, I'll try to post it on Instagram with an explanation of my idea. Or maybe if I start it, I'll, uh, I'll show it <laughs> on Instagram. But I'm just, I really want to have a blanket that when I'm done knitting a pair of socks, put a square in the big blanket, put a square in the medium blanket, and then crochet up the rest in a scrappy blanket so that every last bit is completely used up. I just really like that. It makes me feel very virtuous when I use up all of the yarn. <laughs> Water break. Okay, so let me see if I can show you how big this one is. I believe it's seven squares by seven. So it's a perfect square right now, but it needs to be bigger. It's not big enough. It's kind of like a baby size blanket right now. It needs to be bigger. But knitting these 70 stitch squares do take, takes me two days usually to finish a square. Whereas if I knit a square on my 50 stitch square blanket, I can do that in an evening. It's much faster. Let me show you that one next. I'm keeping my 50 stitch Cozy Memories blanket in this Mountain State Stitches bag, which I just love. It's so big and it's got pockets on the inside. So what do I have in here? Oh, I've got my Willow Body Bar in Vanilla Moon, which smells amazing. So this is all yarn that I've either, I just want to put in my blanket or, or their sock, their yarn from socks I have finished recently and I haven't had a chance to put in my blanket yet. So um, they're all in here waiting to be put into this blanket. Let me see if I can show you how big this one is. I'm not sure if it's quite as big as the 70 stitch one. Maybe it is, it's probably similar. But again, it's not big enough and it needs to be much, much bigger. And I think I've been working on this one since 2019, I think. Maybe 2018, I'm really not sure. But squares I have put in since last we spoke, I think, let me see. I put, I put my um, Mama Jess Valentine's. I put Changing of the Leaves, Speckled Rainbow. All, my, all three of these are Mama Jess knits. And then I put, um, this is that uh, Zauber Ball colorway of the pair of socks I finished, I showed last time. Put that square on. And then this one I have not, knit a pair of socks with this. It's, um, Lolo did it. It's a Shark Week colorway because Shark Week's coming up and I'm probably going to start this <laughs> pretty soon in a pair of socks. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and get a square on my blanket. I often will do that. I'll preemptively put in a square <laughs> on my blanket before I've started my socks, which is totally fine. And it is called, you're going to need a bigger boat. It's really, really pretty. I love it. I wonder if Lauren is going to do her Shark Week colorways again, because that's coming up. I believe it starts July 11th and goes to the 18th, if I'm not mistaken. I was Googling it the other day because I was just curious. <laughs> so I may, I may start this this weekend as well, or on 4th of July, we'll see. Okay, let me fold this back up nicely. I love 
these mitered square blankets. Of all of my scrappy projects that I work on, these are the ones that I gravitate to the most. Like it's, there's something very grounding about knitting these squares. I just love it. Maybe because it's kind of like a quilt or something. It's just, I love it so much. I want to always be making cozy memories blankets of many varieties. <laughs> I actually have another one that I started um, that are bigger squares, but on bigger needles because I'm, I'm double stranding fingering weight with mohair. And I'm, it's put away for right now because it's too hot, I think, to be working on it in the summer. So I'll probably pick it up again in the fall. I've only knit three squares, but they're big, bigger squares. And I'm using a size five needle and, and just using my leftover mohair and whatever fingering weight I want to use. And I, I think if I could pick that one up in the fall, in the winter when it's colder, because the squares are so big, that blanket will grow a little bit faster. And it's only a 60 stitch square. So, but it, because it's on bigger needles, I think it'll grow faster and be super warm and cozy. I'll try to remember to bring that one down and show that one next time. I think that's all I have to show. Okay, plans for socks I want to cast on for summer sock camp. Okay, I need to finish these. So that needs to be a priority. Uh, <clears throat> I really want to knit this yarnable. It's called The Raven, I think. Yeah, The Raven. It, it was from last October, I think. I mean, look at that. It's just amazing. I, I'm really excited to knit this one. I really want to get Sparkle Pop with Sapphire going. I really want to knit Changing of the Leaves super badly. I also ordered Mama Jess Knits Red, White, and Boom her patriotic colorway. Cannot wait for that to come. It was a pre-order, so I'm not sure when it's going to ship. It'll be after 4th of July, but I don't even care because to me, patriotic themed projects need to be all the time, not just in July. So no worries about not losing enthusiasm for that because I'm going to want to knit that as soon as it comes, whenever it comes. Let's see. What else do I have in here? Okay. This will segue slightly into what am I reading? <laughs> what am I reading and watching? A lot of podcasters like to talk about that. So I, I'm i pretty boring. I'm not a, a voracious reader because I only read when I go to bed at night. So I, <laughs> I fall asleep too quickly. But I have been reading um, Elizabeth Gaskell's Wives and Daughters. It's actually in this room. I'm gonna grab it. Julia, I mean, not Juliet. Priscilla borrowed it from me because she wants to read it too, which is awesome. But it's this, it's a um, older book, <laughs> kind of more of a contemporary of like Wilkie Collins. I believe she wrote books in like the 1800s. What's the copyright? Of course, it's not gonna say, because this is a newer edition, but I believe it was written in the 1800s sometime. <laughs> Anyway, there is a wonderful BBC British drama series that they made called Wives and Daughters from this book that you can watch. If you're in the US, it's not streamable and it used to be. They took it away and I don't know why. And I'm very upset at whoever made that decision because it used to be on Amazon Prime, I think. Thankfully, years and years ago, I had I bought it on DVD. So whenever I want to watch it, which we have watched it the entire miniseries twice in the last two weeks because Priscilla and I love it so much, um, which is very special because I, I, I mu it must have come out in the early aughts, <laughs> like 2000, maybe even late nine, 1990s. I'm not even sure. It's fair, I guess it's it's at least 20 years old, the miniseries. Um, but I remember when I was pregnant with Priscilla, who was my firstborn child, all I wanted to do the week before I had her because I was just tired and just kind of resting and waiting to have Priscilla is all I wanted to do was watch this miniseries. <laughs> and so um, it's fun now that Priscilla is 19 that we've been watching it together and loving it so much. The book is delightful. I just, 
I love the way Elizabeth Gaskell writes. It's, these are um, a, like a novel of manners and society and people and how they interact with each other. And there's a bit of suspense and there's definitely romance. And it's so good. It's like, if you love Jane Austen, you would love Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, so last night we finished watching, was it last night? No, it was the night before. We finished watching North and South, which is another book written by Elizabeth Gaskell, Gaskell which is really, really good. And that book is, is really fantastic as well. I might read that next after I finish this. Um, so that's what I've been reading in my Bible. Pretty much I only read old books in my Bible because that's what my soul needs in these incredibly strange times that we live in. <laughs> okay. Oh, then I actually want to show you some fabric. I ordered so much fabric <laughs> from Joann's. Um, so this is so weird to me, but when you, when you order fabric from joannes.com, you have to buy two yards. You can't just buy a quarter yard or whatever. So I got all this patriotic fabric that I am obsessed with and I cannot wait to play with. I'm probably going to make project bags for myself and whatever's left over, I'm probably going to make a, a simple quilt like not even or blanket not even quilt implies quilting I'll probably just take large pieces of fabric put them right sides together with some batting sew around the edge you flip it inside right side out and then you know I do some top stitching around the edging and maybe some like um do some ties with like crochet thread I just love this one and these are all, like, if you just go to Joann's and type in patriotic fabric, these will come up. This is by Robert Kaufman. Love that one. And then this is just, like, a patriotic plaid. I'll probably use this one for lining for some project bags. But <laughs> this was the one I was looking for when I went to the website because I missed out on getting one of Mama Jess Knits. Um, she was doing like a a kit with her red, white, and boom sock yarn and the patriotic gnomes. So I got two yards of this. So I'm gonna make myself a big project bag with that and probably throw the rest in the blanket. And then I have just some pretty navy with uh, red and white stars. That'll probably be for lining for one of the project bags. Then this one is just, it's just called patriotic floral. But it's so pretty. I love it. I'm probably going to make a project bag with just this as the main fabric. And I'm hoping to get the fabric cut out today. But I may not be able to do the sewing until after I get home from work on Friday. And maybe Saturday. So yeah. And then I work Monday. Off for, um, off for 4th of July. I think I'm off the day after 4th of July and then I work Thursday, Friday next week. So we'll see what I can accomplish this weekend. Okay, I think that is it. I hope that you are enjoying your summer and that if you are crazy about knitting socks that you are enjoying your sock knitting and whatever scrappy projects you're working on. And um, leave a comment below, tell me what you're working on. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.